guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my everyday makeup routine, some of the products that I'm loving, techniques that I'm loving. I'll run you through a little bit of my skincare as well and just kind of share with you guys what I do on an everyday basis. Right now in this moment, we are all trying to stay home and be as low key as possible. So I encourage you guys to stay home if you can. I hope that you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Praying for you guys, all of you are always on my mind. Um, but yeah, today I just thought I would lighten the mood a little bit, do something fun, share with you guys my current makeup routine. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I make new videos every week on makeup, beauty, fashion. I have a giveaway that ends tomorrow for a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's on my previous video, the TikTok one. Um, I'll do a little card up here, but first of all, let's go ahead and get started. So I have uh, these little gel patches. These are from Peter Thomas Roth. My, um, allergies have not been good lately and I just wake up always feeling puffy so those kind of help a little bit I try to do like some facial facial massage why is that word hard for me to say um, I'm gonna do a little eye cream this is the Obagi vitamin C so it's brightening and hydrating for under the eyes so just a little bit of that those little gel patches are great I'll go ahead and make sure to link everything too so if you guys want to check them out for moisturizer, I told you guys that I picked this up in a recent vlog. We have been vlogging, so if you guys want to check that out, I will link our channel below. But this is the Tata Harper Lightweight um, for Normal to Dry Skin. It's their reparative moisturizer. I've really been liking it. It's a great kind of daytime lightweight moisturizer for under makeup. So I'm going to apply that all over. And then, of course, a little SPF 50. We are in Florida, so we've been kind of going in walks around our neighborhood or whatever, so I just like to make sure I still have my SPF on. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this all over. This is tinted, so to be honest, a lot of days, like, um, you know, for just not doing much or hanging around the house or whatever, this is perfect for me. It evens out my skin tone and protects it a little bit, so I will do this with a little brow gel and some lip gloss and that's kind of a great like 30 second routine. I don't have a mirror. I'll try to use this. I'm gonna actually go ahead and put a little aquaphor on my lips. I don't have any lip balm here with me, but I just use a little bit of this. Okay, so I'm gonna let that all dry for a couple minutes. I'm gonna go grab all my makeup and set up and then we will get started. So if you guys have been watching our vlog channel, we are here at our condo in Florida. We got here um, probably about like 10 days ago, but I forgot to pack. Um, actually, I remembered to pack a lot of my makeup and my brushes in one bag, and then I forgot to grab that bag somehow. So I'm working with a very small collection of brushes here at the moment. I've got a foundation brush, bronzer, blush, and a highlight brush. So we're going to make it work. I actually was able to buy an eyeshadow brush, and then I had left a little concealer one here. So we will try to make it work with what we have, but um, for foundation, you guys, I cannot rave about this foundation enough. I've talked about it on Instagram stories. I've showed it on TikTok. I have raved about it in my recent favorites video, but this is the Oxygenetics Oxygenating Foundation. It's just great if you've watched my videos for a while and you like kind of my style of makeup that's just more natural, glowy, bronzy, uh, good for your skin, you will love this. I really can't say enough good things about it. So um, I use the shade Honey or Almond. They both work well for me. Today I'm gonna use Honey. It's kind of like a olive undertoned, medium to tan color. I'm just going to do a light layer of this all over. I'm not gonna use primer because I just did all that skincare and I feel like that prepped my skin really well for makeup. If I had let it sit for like an hour or two and you know, I needed to refresh my skin. That's usually when I'll use primer, but I don't use it like on a daily, daily basis, especially for everyday, just simple makeup like this. I feel like my skin prep is enough. So I'm just using my little It Cosmetics foundation brush. This is one of my favorites and blending this all over. So something that I love about this foundation is you can see your skin through it. It's not a full coverage. It's, I would say a light to medium but you could build it up to be more of a just true medium if you wanted to do two layers. Make sure I bring it down my neck. That is it for foundation, for concealer. This is basically gonna be a lot of the favorites that I showed you guys in my current favorites video. I will go ahead and link that one up here if you wanna check it out because I shared beauty, hair, skin, clothes, food, like everything in that favorites video. So I figured I might as well show you guys exactly how I use all of those products. 
So for concealer, I have a fuzz on my face. I have been loving the Fenty Beauty, specifically the shade 290. It's great. I don't actually know what this is called. Oh, the Pro Filter, Instant Retouch Concealer. I love the Pro Filter foundation as well. I just typically don't need or want something that full coverage all over. So this concealer is perfect. I have the option to put this on and go full coverage wherever I specifically want it instead of doing all over my face. So kind of just do it anywhere. I have scarring that I don't want to show through. And then of course under the eyes as well. So it's probably one or two shades lighter than the foundation so it is a little bit brightening but I think it's the perfect shade for me. So I'm just gonna blend this in using the same brush because it's all I have right now. So that is perfect for coverage for me. I like something dewy and glowy, so I'm gonna share with you guys how I've been using these cream products. So this is the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. It's their kind of like cream stick bronzer. It's great. So I apply this all over I wouldn't where I would normally contour. I like this just because it's it's very natural. It gets not too much. Do a little bit on my forehead. Sides of my nose. A little bit more, maybe under here a little bit. I kind of want to bronze with it too, so I'm gonna do a little extra higher up on the cheeks, just kind of dab it. A little on the temples. Just gonna stipple that in. On the cheeks, because I want it to be kind of like bronzer too, I'll go ahead and start stippling it in, but then bringing it up. So it's almost like where you would apply blush. So hopefully now you can see we have some dimension. We're a little bit bronzy. I wanna bring some color to my cheeks. I'm using the Milk Makeup. This is their color called Perk. This is great. It's a really pretty bright kind of corally pink color. So what I've noticed is that I don't like to apply it right to the skin. I've actually never done it that way because I just feel like it'd be patchy and it'd take your foundation off. So I'm just applying it to the back of my brush or onto my brush, I mean. And then I'm gonna stipple it on my cheeks. It's so pretty. Kind of glossy and dewy and fresh. I'll do a little on my nose. Just kind of tie in the color everywhere. So I'll do just a little bit of, like all over. But we have that done. I am gonna do a little powder because even though I like to be glowy and dewy, I don't wanna be sticky. I always have Julian coming up and kissing me and hugging me and then makeup smears everywhere or Michael hugs me or whatever. So I never like to feel tacky or sticky, but I feel like with this dewy base of all this glowiness, you can go ahead and put some powder on top and it'll still look really glowy. So um, my two favorite powders right now Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder at number two. And then of course the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I always apply this under my eyes, pretty much anywhere I do concealer. I love this powder because those are the areas that I want a little bit more matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's really hard without a mirror or a table. So yeah, we have been in the house for a few days now. We just have a lot of family members here and then we obviously have Julian. So we just decided to stay and we got the groceries that we needed and we've been hanging out at home. You know, we've been walking, going around the neighborhood and stuff like that. We have a pool here luckily, but we've just been laying low. And I feel like things change daily. So depending on when you're watching this, things could change, I don't know. But as of right now, we are staying in and we you know are gonna be here for the time being but i decided i'd film today because i have literally cleaned and cleaned and cleaned because i was bored and then you know i've been trying to read and trying to work out at home trying to stay busy you know as much as i can okay i did that a little bit on the t-zone and then i'll go ahead and take a little bit actually i'm gonna wait on this charlotte tilbury powder First, I'm gonna go ahead and set 
the other areas that we did the cream products with colored powders. I feel like that's a way to kind of set it without getting rid of that dewy finish. So it's kind of like a little bit of a technique. You have to figure out what works for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and set the blush. I was gonna use this Laura Mercier one, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks very like mauve in the light and I want something that matches that cream blush a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this is the Charlotte Tilbury palette that I've been loving lately. I'm gonna go ahead and use that middle blush right there and set the blush. Yeah, that color is better. It's like a bright peach. And then I'm actually gonna use the bronzer in this palette too. The bronzer in this palette is my favorite. It's amazing. So because you don't have any powder on to set this bronzer or foundation, you have to be pretty careful with how you apply it. I don't think you should go in and just start like swirling and buffing. It's gonna kind of get patchy that way. The best way to set would just kind of be to pat like this. Tap it in and then once the powder is there, you can blend, at least for the cheeks. I notice it can get patchy. I'll do it in a little bit on my eyes, down my nose, on the neck. For highlighter, this Dior palette is so pretty. I picked this up because I saw Sam O oh talking about it. She used it for her wedding day makeup and it's just such a pretty palette. It's got a bunch of different highlighters, a goldy yellow one, a bronzy one, and then two kind of champagne peachy ones. So it's great for the cheeks, it's great for the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this champagne one right here. Look how pretty that is, it's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite highlighting palettes I've ever tried. It's just the perfect amount of pigmentation. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the top of my cheeks. Down my nose, cupid's bow, under the brow, chin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and do it in my inner corner. There's some pretty light there, some shimmer. And then I'm gonna take a shadow brush and the bronzy one and kind of use that like as an all over wash of color. So there's some like pretty hints of shimmer on the eye. A little bit below, just blending it all together. Okay, that is pretty much it for the face. I usually like to go over anywhere that still feels a little tacky. So I'll show you where I usually go. If I can get this open. Taking some powder, usually right here. I'm obviously not setting that with any bronzer or blush. Some powder there. And if you want to tone anything down, you can kind of go over anything. Now, for brows. I feel like my brows are looking pretty good. I just tweezed them and trimmed them and groomed them the other day. So I'm just gonna brush them up. I've been doing a thinner brow lately. I just feel like my natural brows sometimes like a thick brow is good, but they're a little too thick. I keep getting fuzz on my face. Okay, so I just like to lightly fill them in. This is my Benefit Brow Pencil. I just do a line underneath the brow. And then I fill in my tail probably the most. That's where I can get the thinnest. There we go, same on this side. And then I blend it out and see if I need it anywhere else. I will go ahead and set it with a little clear brow gel. Also from Benefit, they make the best brow products. So I go ahead and brush the hairs up and out. Just lifts the eye and makes it look less filled in and makes them look fluffy and natural and pretty and kind of like fresh and young, I think. So I like that look. 
I'm actually gonna use my little spoolie to brush out my lashes. What is left of them? Now, on an everyday basis, I usually do my lips and then stop right here, but because my lashes are kind of getting to the point where I need to get them filled, sometimes I like to do a little bit more to kind of bring some more drama back to my eyes. So I picked up some eyeliners from KKW Beauty. Let me find them. Okay, so two of them. The first one is the eyeliner in just shade brown, and then the second one is eyeliner in shade copper. So for the brown, I've been doing kind of like a smoky wing on top, and then the copper, this used to be like my old standby is I would do like a copper liner and the lash line and kind of smoke it out. It's a really pretty kind of natural take on a smoky eye. So I'll show you guys how I do it. I'm taking the brown, which is kind of like a dark smoky brown. It's a pencil. I'm just gonna do a little wing and then a little on my lash line. Connect them. Maybe I'll try to come in close. I don't know if this camera zooms. Does it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay. So don't judge me because I don't ever try to make this look perfect because I don't like that look. I'm going to crease. So just kind of like this. You can already tell it just brings a lot more drama to the lashes. So I'll do the same on the other eye. Try to do the same at least. Create a little wing. The lash line and then connect them. Taking a little liner brush and just smudging it where I can. So you don't want to smudge it too much because then you'll lose the color but just so there's not any harsh lines. Here, I think that looks really pretty. And now I'm gonna take the copper. I'll do that underneath on the lower lash line. So there you can tell the difference between the two eyes. Do the same on this one. But I have really been liking the eyeliners from KKW. I also bought some blush that wasn't as pigmented as I hoped it was gonna be. It was a really pretty color too. It just like kept having to pile and pile it on. And then as far as her lip products go, I really like the colors. I like that she kind of focuses on some really great nudes. But I do feel like they have kind of a weird smell. Like they kind of smell like play makeup. I'm not into that. But they smell like Play-Doh. It's weird, but I like it. I feel like it's the same thing as the Kylie lip liner. I'll use that one today. I just found it. I must have bought this a long time ago and left it here in the, at the condo in Florida. And I was like, ooh, I didn't even know I had this. The shade is coconut. It's like a true kind of brownie nude. We'll see. I just wiped all that aquaphor off my lips. I tend to overline, blend it with my finger, okay? And then to fill it in a little bit, this, if you want a really good like nude, this is the Milk Makeup Lipstick in the color Skills. This is a really good nude. Like, can you tell? It is pigmented, it is matte, and it is nude. A little bit of like a pinky nude, but it's really pretty. I've really been liking it. Kind of just brings some light to the center of your face. So I don't have a lip brush to blend it out, so I'm just gonna blend it out using a little bit more liner. Last step, we will add a little gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth. Really pretty clearish pink sparkly gloss just on the center. So that is my current favorite everyday makeup routine. This is kind of what I'll wear when I want to do a little bit more, going to dinner, going out, taking pictures, kind of like something like that where 
My everyday typically is just a sunscreen and some lip gloss, but this is my everyday glam. That's what I feel like that used to be like the YouTube go-to term, your everyday glam. So this is my everyday glam. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think, what products you're loving right now, what you're doing right now. Just let's have a little chit chat, a little convo in the comments. And I will see you guys in a couple days with another video because what am I supposed to do at home besides film some videos for you guys? So if you have any requests, leave them down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see daily updates on stories and follow along on our vlog channel. We have been trying to daily vlog as much as possible, so I will see you guys over there.